All right, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at entailment. And here's the definition of entailment. A set of sentences, gamma, this is the Greek symbol gamma, we use this for key collection of sentences, entails some sentence P, which I'm actually going to rewrite as alpha, a lowercase Greek letter. If there is no truth assignment that makes everything in gamma true, and alpha false. So we can write this as gamma, then we have a double turn style alpha. So this means that gamma entails alpha. So in terms that you probably would understand better than this is that if we have a sentence a, a and b, or I'd rather say if we have a B and C, we have these two statements, then we can prove that B is true, or that it entails B. So we can do this with a truth table. So we have A, we have B and C, and we have B. So what we do is we make these two true, and then we have to prove that this makes the conclusion true. So here we have it. So for alpha to, for A to be true, we just write true. For B and C to be true, this means that B has to be true and C has to be true, but B is true here, so the conclusion is true. And in other words, we can kind of do this like we did with the uh, tautologies. Can we make it so that the conclusion is false, but both of the premises here are true and the answer is well no because if this was false then that couldn't be true so you can do the same sort of thing and this is just entailment so we're going to do a couple more of these a couple really basic ones and these are just uh, truth tables so these aren't hard to do we have a b or c and we want to prove b this is different because we have b or c so question is, can we make a scenario where B, the conclusion B is false, but the other premises are true? And the answer is, well, what if B is false? Can we still make B or C true? And the answer is yes, we can make C true. So we have this scenario where our two premises are true, but our conclusion is false, and therefore, um, if you have A and B or C, it does not entail B. So you just write the entailment with A, strike through it to assimilate, it does not entail B. So entailment is sort of like saying we have a semantic proof. And what this means for us is basically a a, a proof by truth table and what they don't tell you in discrete mathematics is how to prove that truth tables are equivalent to uh, actual proofs with syntax and that is something covered later but we have a semantic proof so let's prove uh, another one here let's prove that if we have a and we have a arrow b then b follows so we want to make the first two true, and let's see if we can make B false. Well, okay, let's try to keep this consistent. B has to be false, which means that A has to be false as well, because the only way to make the arrow true is to also make A false. But we have a contradiction here, because we have A is equal to true, and A is equal to false, and this is a problem so therefore b has to be true we cannot make the premises true and the conclusion false therefore what we can say is that a a arrow b entails b and this is the same thing which will prove a long time from now that if you have a a arrow b then you get b this is the same structure as this right here. These are equivalents. We don't have a proof of that yet. Please don't say that you know for sure that this is true because it 
It is true. I'll tell you it's true. But we haven't proven that it's true. We haven't proven that the semantics entails the syntax, and the syntax proves the semantics. We haven't done that yet, but um, this is entailment. This is exactly what entailment is. It gets more complex with more formulas, but this is the basic idea. Um, really, if you know how to do truth tables, then this shouldn't be an issue. So, I'm, it's a short video, it's because we're not going to do crazy examples, and uh, when we get to the next video, uh, if you're following the logic book, I'm not doing truth trees. Truth trees are something that is done more in modal logic, so if I do a series on modal logic, I'll introduce truth trees for propositional logic to get into it, but as far as just learning syntax and semantics of the important stuff in natural deductive logic, uh, truth, truth trees are a total waste of time. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.